<laughs> oh, I'm excited today. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, this is Talks with G. I'm G. Welcome to the video. Let's get going. Um, actually, I don't need to talk that fast. I'm kind of just, just kind of normal. It's kind of chill. It's been a while since I, I, I last had a video. A few days. Um, but uh, I know exactly what I want to talk about. Um, uh, however, first, I finally have two people who have, well, there's a three. Two people at least, I'll just go solidly, two people who have tweeted me. And um, they brought up a really interesting topic. It's a good topic. It's a topic a lot of people are talking about right now. That I, and I am definitely going to address it. Uh, the thing is, though, is that they brought up really good points, and I really want to do a good job talking about it. Uh, and it's probably, I, I know for a fact that it's, it is going to be a multi-stage parts video, because it's a big discussion, and it's something that's, that's an ev evolutionary conversation. And what is it? Well, it's uh, climate change. Uh, they brought up what my thoughts were on climate change. I had some brief tweets. So if you want to see what the, what the conversation was, just go to Talks with G, at Talks with G to Twitter, and uh, join in. Join in. Uh, but anyways, they, they, they asked what I thought about it, and I said a few things, and I'm going to get to it. I have a very, you know, I, I have a very, it, it's something that needs to be talked about, certainly. And it's a lot of things that I think a lot of people get, I don't want to say wrong, but I, I, I think specifically with climate change, people can tend to, um, it's really easy to pick a side. You know, it exists, we're killing the planet. No, it doesn't exist, it's BS. You know, and it's like, uh, it's just really hard to work with either party because it, it, their ideas are not being presented in the form of a conversation. They're not being talked about, they're just statements that are based on some amount of information or uh, some amount of information or some denial of information and then they're just static. They are static statements. There's no interest to expand on them, no interest to converse with them. And that's the, a, a, some of the, one of the issues I have when, uh, when a number of people talk about it. But might I digress? Um, one of the guys also sent me a, a message. He said, hey, this video is cool, but he's like, you know, you got to stop the whole um, G gangster thing or whatever. And I might be wrong, I have to read the message again. And, and I do appreciate his insight. I, I really do. He did have some other good points as to some advice or what he liked about the show and I, or the videos. And I, I will definitely genuinely take that to heart and look at, you know, his, his words. <laughs> but if anyone was thinking that uh, the G in Talks with G has anything to do with gangster or any kind of, you know, like, uh, <laughs> I'm so not a gangster, I don't even know how to say gangster stuff. The G in Talks with G is not, has nothing to do with gangs or, you know, a real G's or, you know, something from, from rap. It's nothing to do with that. Uh, it's completely different. I just want to protect my right to privacy, my Fourth Amendment, and I just don't want my name out there. That, that's really what it comes down to. I don't want my full name out there. G is a really short version of my name. Uh, seriously. People do call me G in my own personal real life, so that gets you to guess what my name is. <laughs> but that's why I'm not a gangster. But that's what they had sold, that's what they talked about, but uh, that, that's boring, well that's not boring stuff, but the, I got more interesting things to talk about. I just have to remember it. <laughs> um, let's see. That's to be continued. Uh, ah, that's it. That's exactly what I want to talk about. Um, I think maybe in one of the past videos I was talking about how um, when, I, when I'm thinking about something or, or when I was talking about Neil deGrasse Tyson and he talks about the perspective of having the universe being cosmic, uh, it just struck me finally. Uh, I was playing around on Google Maps and it, it's a really good practical example of what I'm thinking. Uh, as a frame of reference, if you're curious, and I'm very curious to see how you guys think about things when you talk about stuff or think about things in your mind, but one of the coolest things in Google Earth is if you just continually zoom out, you'll just see the whole, thing, the, the whole darn planet just right there, Earth. When I'm talking about Earth, when I'm talking about history, when I'm talking about how things evolve, how things change, if we were to observe the Earth uh, over 
10 years, five years, five seconds, or maybe five million years or five billion years, if you were to just go to Google Maps right now or right after this video and scroll all the way out, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. And I really like thinking like that. I really like thinking in a very visual way and thinking about the Earth in a really zoomed out perspective. And when I see that, when you zoom out on Google Earth, there's so many awesome things that, that happen that change how you think without even trying. Um, like for instance, you realize, wow, <laughs> Greenland is really actually not that big. And then you're like, oh wow, and neither is Alaska. Or you're like, wow, Australia is really far from LA. Wow, the Pacific Ocean is huge. And it, it just changes how you think about things. And then on top of that, you're like, wow, London really is right next to Paris. You know, if you're in England or in Europe, things are really close. So your, your perspective of distance is different. But even then, it's like, wow, Portland is actually insanely close to Seattle. Or wow, Chicago and New York are practically on the same, they're right next to each other because they look so much smaller. And that, I think, is important. And whenever I talk about um, what I'm thinking about or how I'm looking or when I, when, I, when I imagine anything, when I imagine traveling or when I imagine an idea or when I imagine a, a corporation in, in its sprawl or I imagine a lot of a, a technology or I imagine about you know, our evolutionary process, that is the image of Earth that I always have and for the most part. And sometimes I'll zoom in. Literally, sometimes I'll zoom out and just think about where, in my mind, visually, like where the sun is and where the Earth is, and you know, you know, getting back to where Earth and Mars are aligned. But generally speaking, throughout the day, uh, that's how I look at things. That's how I, I I see Earth in my mind. Is if you were to go to Google Maps and zoom all the way out, some really incredible things happen. And one of the things that struck me, and this is somewhat of a sad note, uh, I, um, is that I, sometimes I wonder, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with ISIS and fights and wars and all this stuff, and I just wonder if, if, if what it would look like if we put a camera, you know, what if we put a camera zoomed out on Earth, a live camera, just orbiting around the Earth uh, relatively slowly, as you can see the Earth spinning, uh, and you, just, you hit play, you hit record. You would see the day, you would see the, the you know, you would see the, the Earth flash into darkness, and then light, and then darkness, and then light, and then darkness, and you could speed it up and go wee -wee -wee -wee, really quick, or you slow it down, and when I see some of the things about the news, about the refugees, and some of the things that are terribly going on in the, in, in the world, and not just anywhere in the Middle East, but just wars in general, I always imagine and think about, hmm, from this zoomed out view, what would things look like at night? And it's, it's really sad. Uh, you would see explosions. You'd see bombs. You'd see entire wars. You would see us killing and murdering ourselves for really very little reasons. And that's really humbling. But then when I was thinking about that, I was then also thinking about World War II. I mean, I mean, it's not like the Earth, went, you know, there's nothing different about World War II and now, in terms of the Earth, nothing different. I mean, just some bigger holes <laughs> that we made. But imagine zooming all the way on Google Earth, it's a live video, and you're watching World War II at night. That would just be devastating. You would see explosion after explosion, fires, flames, crashes, planes blowing up, planes blowing up other planes, bombs blowing up. And then as soon as the sun, all night long, we're just mindlessly, meaninglessly hurting each other for no reason. And it is when the sun rises, all that would just go away. Does the fighting stop? No, no. But the clarity, and the, um, the blatant, obvious uh, set of human interactions would fade a little bit. And typically, that's the interesting thing to me. That was really interesting when I think about it because, you know, a lot of people say that things go fuzzy when it gets dark out. 
The lights come on. That's when crime happens. That's when this happens. That's when we lose less understanding, less clarity of our day-to-day -day lives. We, every, if you read a lot about human history and so many other accounts throughout the, the, the millennia, uh, so many people talk about, you know, the night is nil and, 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 and waiting till the sun comes up again. And brightness fills the, fills the darkness void and we're able to live. And then we wait for darkness, we wait, and we huddle, we wait for the sun to come back. And that was the complete opposite of what I thought and what I was, what was kind of thinking when I zoomed out on Google, Google Maps, is that some of the most disturbing reflections in the mirror happen at night, are most clear at night. And um, that's powerful. That, that, was, that, that shook me greatly. And then, of course, gosh, I didn't mean to go to war straight away. Uh, let's talk about something great. <laughs> One of the most amazing things I love about the Google Night Maps, especially from the distance at night, zoomed out all the way out of Google Maps, remember, is you see all these lights just Ooh, the earth turns into this incredible jewel of man-made light. You can see where all the cities are. You can see where New York is. You can see where Chicago is. You can see where Miami is, where Dallas is, where Denver is, where LA is, where Tokyo is, where Seattle is, where London is, where Paris is, where Sydney is. And then at the same time, you can see where the Mississippi is because you see all this flood of expansive light and then the Mississippi and then nothing. As, it, as the lights fade off into darkness as they go into the Rocky Mountains. And then I was thinking about all those other things. You can see the Nile River. You can see all the lights. You can see where we inhabit things. And then you can see where we don't. And then you can see boundaries of entire countries. You can see, specific, if you look at, uh, uh, the, oh my gosh, North and South Korea, you see entire South Korea and then nothing. Darkness. And it's not even darkness on the southern side of North Korea. On the northern side, you can see new lights percolating up. And North Korea is just killing itself. It's killing its citizens of knowledge and ideas for no reason. Except for the tyranny of a single person. And I thought that was really interesting. And I think uh, I would love to, to hear more about what you guys see when you zoom out. And, and, and look at the earth in that way. And that's what I wanted to talk about. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I, oh, oh my gosh, please, please tweet me, send me Facebook. Like, I get so many ideas and so many things to think about and potentially write down and, and do in these videos later when you guys talk to me. And, and, I, and I learn more from it as well. I learn so much from you guys. I'm sure I will. I've only learned a fair amount from two or three people so far. Um, but yeah, Talks with G. I'm G. This is the show. This is the video. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm going to maybe have another video from Thanksgiving. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Um, I won't be here. I won't be in Oregon. I'll be going back home uh, to New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be dry. It's going to be a lot of sunlight. Uh, but yeah, Talks with G. I'm G. Go to my website at TalksWithG.com. You can see all my videos. It automatically populates in a, in a PHP script. All the videos are automatically automated and updated. Go to my Facebook at Talks with G. Go to my Twitter at, at Talks with G. And, and, and talk. Let's talk. Let's do some things. Have a great Thanksgiving um, week and weekend. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be doing this again soon.